This is a very exciting video and you can't tell by the background right now, but I am in London. Yeah. I also seem to be losing my voice today. I'm in London for just a really quick weekend. It's currently Friday morning or actually it's almost noon. It's like 11.30 a.m. on Friday and I'm leaving at like 12.30 p.m. on Sunday. I actually was in Dublin for work on Tuesday morning through last night and then I flew here this morning, just decided to extend my trip and come over to London because I haven't been since I graduated in September 2017 and finished my master's program. So I'm only here for a short while but I have plans to meet with different friends um, for different meals throughout the weekend so I'm going to bring you along for all of that. For now I'm going to freshen up and get ready because I'm about to go meet my friend for lunch. In the meantime I will insert some clips from my time in Dublin. Hello from Dublin! Hello. I'm here with Grace. We made it. You might recognize her from a previous video. I'm back. Um, but we are in Dublin. We are just taking a little walk next to the river. I've been here a few times before, but this is Grace's first time. First time ever in Europe. Yes. Anywhere. Outside of North so America. Pretty, yeah, pretty excited. This is monumental. <laughs> so yeah, so we're just gonna take in some sights uh, before we meet back up with the rest of our team to prep for our meetings tomorrow. I'm in London. I think it looks more London. Oh, well, not white band. <laughs> but I'm with my friend Shu. Hi! Um, Reunited. She, yes, after one year, almost exactly a yeah. year, we um, met for the first time in New York. But we yes. knew each other for like a year before that yeah. through, yeah. through YouTube. Um, so we are just about to go get some lunch. Where are we going? Somsa, mm -hmm. which is a Thai restaurant, so we're gonna go there. Maybe get some lemon and ginger. Yes, yes, for my problem. Yeah, a lot of Thai food. <laughs> yes. And yeah. um, maybe some natural wines. If yes. you're feeling it. Yes. yes, I'm always, I'm always okay, feeling, feeling it. Okay, we're feeling it. Okay, natural wine. <laughs> we're probably about like seven minutes away. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> in her natural element. <laughs> A wild shoe spotted in the restaurant. So it's a Yes. So I brought Shu some hot Cheetos from the streets. Made my year. She's been, she's just been gushing about it. <laughs> like 10 minutes straight. Also about how obsessed I am with them because it's so easy to eat. You know when you're eating like six or seven and you're like, yeah, I'm like enjoying it, enjoying it. And you're like, I'm gonna have 10 more and then that's it. And then I have 10, I'm like, but I can do like another 10 more. And I guess it's a bit where your fingers are so steep from hot Cheetos, but you're just loving life too much to stop. So I've now got two packs. It's not gonna last me very long. <laughs> It's honestly made me so happy. I'm just so glad that you appreciate it. I gasp on the bus. <laughs> honestly, if I ever get proposed to, just don't even like, just get me a pocket pot cheese. Yeah. Be yours forever. Yes. <laughs> So Shu and I have been walking for, I don't know, half an hour or something yeah. um, from lunch. And I wanted to come to my old dorm. So here we are. <laughs> 
Here Yay. we are. It says Liberty House right there. Sebastian That's Street. Nice door. Yeah, Liberty House, Sebastian Street. And that was my room. Well, that was that. That was my room. Down that way is Exmouth Market. Up that way is Angel. Down that way is Barbican. That way is like Shoreditch, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tons of memories here. <laughs> it's time to say goodbye. No. We went to Waterstones. I yeah. picked up Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> I like it. The cute one. The yeah. boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. Yes. It has some really nice quotations. Really and... beautiful, like illustrations. Yeah. Bye. Oh, so good to see you too. We won't leave it another year. I no. Know. I came back to my friend's flat to freshen up a bit, and now I'm gonna go meet my friend Roxy for dinner voice is um still questionable and roxy was in my master's program with me so let's go okay it's saturday morning now and let me catch you up on what happened last night last time i checked in i was about to leave for dinner with my friend roxy went to go have dinner um i forgot to film that but we went to this place called charco charco which is like a japanese barbecue place and by that point i just like almost completely lost my voice um today it's back a little bit more but yesterday um it was pretty hard to communicate during dinner um after dinner we kind of walked around walked towards chinatown and then towards piccadilly circus you know i'm here for a short amount of time so for me the best way to see london is to just walk through it so um just like after lunch yesterday I walked around after dinner, we walked a bit, then we parted ways and I headed over to Shoreditch area to meet for drinks with some of my old floor mates from uh, my old dorm. By that point, I was really, really struggling to get words out and by the end of the night, I was like typing things on my phone because not only did I lose my voice, but we were also in a very noisy bar, so it was just impossible to even hear someone who was yelling across the table, let alone someone with no voice. It's now 1 p.m. and I got back from brunch with my friend Tumi um, just a little bit ago. We went to a really cute place called Caravan. And it's on Exmouth Market, which is this small street. It's not really a market, but it's a small street with shops and restaurants. Um, that's actually really close to where I used to live. So I used to go there all the time, but I had never been to that restaurant. After lunch, we were walking to the tube station so Tumi could go home, but we stopped by Sainsbury's, which is, you know, one of the supermarkets here. And I picked up some British goodies. First of all, I got five Cadbury Dairy Milk. Um, just, you know, your standard Cadbury milk chocolate bar because they don't make chocolate in the US like they do here. Caramel digestives, which are digestive biscuits covered in chocolate and there's also a layer of caramel inside. Um, what else is there to say? And then I got these fabulous fingers, which I've actually never tried, but Tumi was saying that they're really good, so decided to grab a box. Garden is located. It's just a really cool rooftop panoramic view of London. Now I am walking across London Bridge. Leadenhall Market was north of this bridge um, and I'm on my way to Borough Market which is just south of this bridge. Yeah. 
<laughs> and I was about to say, I was like, where is it? Yeah. <laughs> we got three to share. We got gnocchi with tomato and pesto. We got a ricotta and spinach ravioli with bolognese. And then we meant to get a truffle tortellini, but they gave us a pumpkin. But still good. Very, very good. <laughs> yeah, very good. My voice is gone. <laughs> uh, this is Alex. <laughs> I'm here because Christina can't talk. Hi. <laughs> what are we doing? We are ordering Indian food. It's really delicious. Getting some takeout. Yeah. I'm gonna put subtitles on this for you. <laughs> <laughs> so you understand, Christina? Do we want the lamb chops as well, or do we just want the martiga? Why don't we go for the lamb chops too? <laughs> okay. I like the way you think. It's Sunday morning, and I'm leaving my friend's flat now. Got my stuff. And gonna head to the airport. It was really gloomy all weekend, but today, I don't know if you can tell, but the sky is blue. Looks like the weather's gonna be really nice today, but I guess it's only fitting that my weekend in London was very rainy, so um, I'm just hoping that I'll be back again soon. I made my way to Camden Passage, which is a small pedestrianized street near Angel Station, and there's a lot of little cafes, shops, antique stores, restaurants. Um, so I'm gonna go over to a cafe here, uh, one of the few that's open right now. <laughs> 